Guys, it's a big day in Spyro history today. I do not say this shit lightly, okay? We could be on the cusp of a new generation of Spyro gaming. We could be on the edge, the bleeding edge of a new world of video games. And I do not say that as a joke. I don't say that as a lie. Spyro 4 has been announced, okay? Let me repeat that. Spyro 4, confirm, all right? And if you want proof, look no further than this video that I have up beside me here. What do you say? We take a look at it. It's a trailer for Spyro 4, and uh, let's just, I'm just going to give you guys my first impressions and sort of my final thoughts, and we'll kind of dig through it together a little bit. But for now, let's take a look at it here. Okay, Norks. Okay, Spyro 1. Okay, that's Spyro 2. Oh, I'm seeing some big stuff here. Okay, this is already looking like new Spyro content already. This is big. That's him. That's Spyro 4. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I am, I am completely out of... I have no words. I have no fucking words. I cannot believe they finally did it. They finally brought the people what they wanted. Spyro 4. And there's Zoe right there. Look at Spy. You got the little goggles. Like we all know, he's fucking flying up just like how Spyro does, and he flames you right in the face. It's just a fucking grip. <gasps> oh my god! Cinder? Cinder? Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh! Okay, hold on. Guys, guys, let me gather myself here. Let's gather ourselves, all right? So. There's been a big new trailer dropped. We just watched it of Spyro 4, all right? This is confirmed now. Spyro 4 is coming out, all right? Now, let's all take a deep breath here and let's just kind of go through it kind of piece by piece and see what we can't sort of like extrapolate from this uh, trailer, see what we can't get um, from Spyro uh, 4, see if we can't dig a little deeper and see if there's something more beyond the surface here, okay? Um, but yeah, get high. I'm pretty hyped myself, you know, just first things for first impressions of that trailer. I'm hyped, dude. This could be the next big thing. And I'm not, I don't say that as, I don't say that lightly. So let's go through this uh, kind of piece by piece here. Um, so we do have Spiral 1. Now notice he did, we did opt to use the 240p Spiral 1, you know. A lot of people might think like, yeah, let me just use an emulator. It looks better. But I, th I think the old school kind of like, this is like the PlayStation Magazine Spiral 1, you know. Back when they made uh, sort of, commercials for Spyro 1, this is what it looked like. And so I, I like that they're being true. This is how you know it could be, there could be some first party involvement. Uh, Insomniac could be a part of this project. Another thing I want to say, this video is by, um, actually it's not by Insomniac, it's by Travis the Dragon here. But, you know, I, I have reason to believe that there might be, uh, tra there might be a in first hand involvement from Insomniac. Don't ask me where I got that information, but I do think this is just a fan theory. It's just a game theory. I think Travis might be Ted Price in disguise. So, you know, more than a fan project is what I'm saying. I'm saying this could be a first part, something really big, actually. So let's, let's continue on here. There were Norks. Okay. Big, huge lore. Reptilian conquerors. True. Okay. Stop. Freeze frame that. Freeze frame that. Go back. Go back. Oh, I'm going back here. Look at that. Okay. So look at the way the professor explodes here. Okay. Enhance. You can see in the clouds that the professor explodes in. You can see the outline of a letter G. Okay. Now this could stand for nasty Nork, but I think this could also stand for good game 2022 and that is uh gonna be like a code word maybe probably like the project code name for spyro 4 okay so you know nice letter g right there multiple meanings and uh you know sometimes you gotta like dig a little deeper on the surface let's keep let's keep moving here and see what we can find and this was keep in mind that's a spyro 2 clip right there that was planted all the way back in 2000 or whenever that fucking game came out so really big uh you know sort of setup that they've been doing for this game all right, there's a sorceress. She's thick. That's all I have to say about Okay, 2022. You can see behind my camera, it says 2022. Now, think about this. The last two numbers of 2022, add them together, it's four. But that's just, that's basic, that's basic math right there, right? So Spyro 4 confirmed already, but it goes deeper. 
you think you put the four next to the 20 and you got 420. That means some of the gamers, maybe some of the development team is stoned. That could be a uh, part of the equation that we have here. But let's go one more step further. If we have the four from the 2022 and we have the 20 from the 2022, then 20 divided by four is actually five. So if you really dig it apart, this could be setting up as a foreshadowing for Spyro five, which is just even more exciting. I mean, I, I personally think that Spyro 5 could be on the horizon, and I, I do not say that lightly. Why else would they put this, this uh, seemingly random number here? Spyro 5 confirmed. And here we get our first look at Spyro. Now, I just, I love what they did with him. I love the improved graphics. I think personally better than Reignited, if you ask me. But then again, any game is better than Reignited, if you ask me. But it's a, but honestly, I, I would honestly prefer these, these graphics to, you know, even the best, most modern, you know, games, Crisis, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto, you know, the, I like the, the art style of it. It's, it's, to me, I, it's like hyper-realistic is how I look at it. It's like, this is Spyro, but gritty. Sort of like Eternal Night Spyro. This is like the Spyro from, uh, from your dad's, uh, from, this is your dad's Spyro. This isn't a kid, this isn't no baby Spyro. And look what else they did. They actually added the Gosnold, uh, sort of scarf right here, which I love that. Uh, you know, the, the balloonists from Spyro 1 wear that same scarf. So I'm thinking there might be a chance in the actual gameplay loop that you get to role play as a balloonist and stand in front of, like at the end of each home where you get to just stand there for like hours at a time as you wait for someone to come up and then you tell them that they don't have enough gems to pass. So I think that could be a really interesting gameplay loop, really good chance for role playing. Uh, so just a lot of new possibilities with this game that I'm looking forward to now keep pay attention Spyro actually flames the camera right there This is this is big because if you think about it This could actually be a metaphor for the way insomniac uh, ha Activision have been flaming their own fandom their own community by not acknowledging the existence of Spyro And I think that's part of why this ties into Travis actually being a spoof account from the insomniac higher-ups themselves I think this could be Ted Price behind this video if I'm being completely honest And I think this flame here is truly a metaphor for that I've been as you guys know I've been asking for Spyro 4 on insomniac's Twitter for months and months now and they do not reply You know Activision completely disbanded toys for Bob. They're now working on Spyro Spyro Call of Duty, and so it's it's not Spyro 4, it's not the same, and so I think this flame really says a lot about uh, the direction of Insomniac and how they're trying to try try trying to burn their legacy, but also blaze a new trail. There, there. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's a that's a really big environment. We're getting some big environmental shots here. And this one I really like. This really remind. This takes me right back to Artisan's Homeworld, and I love that they hit you right in the heart with this one. Um, you can really tell by the opacity of the water that you cannot swim in it. You will drown, which is actually a mechanic I think many fans have been asking for them to bring back to the series, is that you drown in the water instead of swimming. That's one of my favorite parts of Spiral 1. That's one of the things that draws me to the game, and so I'm really glad they're bringing back some of the more nostalgic mechanics that have sort of gotten lost to the sands of time. So let's keep moving on here. We get a nice uh, worldview shot right there. Let me go back one more time. See, we have a few dragons right here. I want to point out, we have real world trees in this game, you know? And if you think it looks out of place, consider that the font, that the Fracture Hill trees have beehives on them. They have faces. This is, like I was saying, this is a more real world approach. It's a grittier approach. This is very much like in the same vein of like Grand Theft Auto 4 instead of like the more cartoony style from before. So I, I like that they're going for something a little bit more real here. So let's, let's continue. The, the, the trees are, are very, uh, very uh, tree. Okay, now look at that. Did you guys see that? Are you guys seeing these animations here, all right? I, look, I'm not a game developer, all right? I'm not well-versed in the Unity engine, in assembly, in C++, all right? I only got a degree in double Ds, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm growing a pair myself. But look at this animation, all right? Look at that. I li they, they're really taking an other world. This was completely intentional. Completely intentional, if you ask me. That normally we'd expect like a box to explode, but here it sort of disintegrates into the ether, which we'll see as a theme, uh, a more outer space kind of alternate dimension theme, which I really like. I, I'm a fan of that. And um, 
overall, I think uh, I think they're on the right track with this. Man, look at those flames. I mean, just gorgeous. And, and again, look how he's. You cannot deny he is cute. All right. You tell me this Spyro isn't cute. And unironically, I'm gonna be completely not joking for a moment. Unironically, best Sparks design of any Spyro game. I don't know why they can't fucking get Sparks right in any Spyro game. But in Reignited, he looks like a flying turd made out of gold, a gilded flying turd. But in this game, he actually looks a little cuter, a little nicer. I'll give him that. Definitely 10 out of 10 on the cute scale, for sure. Now, they brought back the elements, okay? You seen that? Elements from Eternal Night. They got ice. They got um, ice. And they got um, uh, yellow. <laughs> the, oh, Spyro 4 News? Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll catch up with that later. Now, here's what I'm talking about, the outer space theming. That's why, if you're thinking, dude, why don't the box ex boxes explode? It's part of the theming, guys. You don't understand world building until you're in an outer space realm. Unironically, these uh, skyboxes look great. I like the way the worlds look here. I want to see more outer space worlds like this. One thing I loved about Zara Myths Awaken, outer space themed. I'm trying to go intergalactic, interstellar. I'm trying to see some astronauts, and I'm trying to crash into Elon Musk's fucking outer space station and go to Mars and fucking launch a new nuke and fucking hit the earth that's what i'm trying to do as spiral i'm trying to raise the stakes with the uh with the campaign with the storyline and i think the space sort of setting uh sets that up a little bit which is really nice okay look at this did you catch that it's our first and only example of zoe the checkpoint fairy as we all know but keep in mind, look at it, it actually physically says checkpoint down there, which is something we actually haven't seen in any of the games up to this point. But I think there's a reason for it. You see, I actually ran the word checkpoint through a word unscrambler. And you can see we actually have the word chicken inside of checkpoint as well as pet cock. Now, you guys know what that means, right? Think about the giant chicken from Spyro 3 that chases you in Sunny Villa. Are you guys seeing the connection here? You could have a pet cock or a checkpoint chicken in this game, and I think he might actually reside on this island here. Now, it's just a theory, but I mean, I think the dots are aligning just a little bit too much for it not to make sense. So, pet cock, I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Travis. I see the pet cock, and you cannot, you cannot pretend to me that there isn't going to be an expansive uh, pet and uh, sort of like, you know, parenting nursery system in this game, uh, which is one of my favorite parts of Spyro games. Love that. Sp outer space blast pads. <laughs> yes. And then one more blaze, really just to send it home. It really sends it home. If you didn't think that this was like a metaphor for the way my ass catches on fire after chugging three cups of coffee and speed running Spyro 1, I mean, I take this as a personal shout out to me. Honestly, I mean, look at it. He's flaming me, the camera. So really just great, uh, great metaphors here. There's a lot to read in between the lines of this trailer, but I'm really excited. Spyro 4 confirmed. You can barely see the four there. They're trying to really keep it on the down low. Again, they're using Ted Price using a spoof account here. Maybe. I don't know. But Blades of Glory. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get blazed when this comes out. So in honor of that, I'm hyped. Spyro 4 confirmed after all these years, we've been asking for it. Uh, 420 blaze it. I'm seeing in the chat and I'm right there with you guys. Can I get a fucking chugger in honor of that? Where are my Spyro fans at? Where are the chuggers at? Hype up. It's Spyro 4, baby. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. Cheers. Now, for real though, this is what, let me explain what this really is. This is actually a game called uh spiral four <laughs> this is a fan game made by travis the dragon okay i'm gonna I'll, I'll take off the ironic thing for a moment um this is a fan game made by travis the dragon and i think it's gonna be really cool he just announced it uh recently uh, a few days back and uh it's made in a game that's about making games called Dreams. So before you make fun of any of like the graphics or anything like that, consider that it's made in like a Gmod kind of esque game, you know, where you sort of just use the assets that they have there. So making a game, I think that's this fleshed out in Dream, you know, with all these environments and shit. I think that's really impressive, <sighs> first of all. You're very welcome, Wilderness. And I'm unironically excited for this, like, unironically. Um, yeah, that's about it. All I have to say. Also, um, Travis is really cool. I never like noticed Travis's channel until recently, 
but Travis does a lot of like, um, if you guys like my YouTube channel or my Twitch, I think you guys would like Travis. He does a lot of like cute, like fan art, animations, memes, spiral related stuff, playthroughs. So pretty similar to what I do, I would say. Um, so yeah, Travis is pretty sick. And uh, yeah, I hope Travis doesn't get too mad at me when I post this video. <laughs> if, Travis, if you're watching this, I love you and I'm really excited for this. Um, this is going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope you don't take my sarcasm as too personal or anything but yeah dreams is like is a fucking crazy game like let me show you some some other just so you get an idea let me show you guys some other games from dreams this is a ps4 game about make where you make a game in the game here's another one <laughs> i mean dude <laughs> so you can just see how kind of wild these fucking games get uh, a lot of you guys probably already know are familiar with dreams but it's it really is a sort of a I think a fever dream is the best way to describe this game that attracts like creative uh, minded people <laughs> jump in the <laughs> so this I mean dude it's awesome I, I love shit like this who doesn't <laughs> so I mean I honestly like looking at some of these other dream like sort of silly memed out games I I would not be mad if Travis totally like went in this direction with it. I don't know if he's like developing it or if it's someone else or a team, but um, I would not be mad if he like took it in a joking direction like that. I think that would be funny. Like to just fully embrace the Spyro 4 meme, you know, like make it as good as you can. Sure. And then just put a bunch of just jokes in there, you know, just fuck it. You know, pretend like it's actually Spyro 4. I think that would be fucking great. But uh, for what it's worth. Uh, that's like the unironic assessment of this Spyro 4 trailer. It is cool. I'm excited, dude. Like, I always get excited for fan, for Spyro fan games that come out. And, uh, you know, I, Zara Miss Awaken, ha dude, Half-Life Year of the Dragon. I just retweeted that. Exclamation point Twitter if you want to take a look at that. Half-Life Year of the Dragon is an amazing, amazing, amazing uh, Half-Life mod with Spyro in it. Built from the ground up. Uh, custom levels and stuff. And now we have this. We have Spyro 4. <laughs> confirmed so you know the the landscape for spyro and um and sort of like spyro fan games is um it's i think it's getting brighter with time you know this spyro has always been a series that hasn't had a lot of uh sort of mod community or like uh fan game stuff so uh it's, it's just been like a hard thing to break into, it seems like, from a technical perspective. But it, as the years go on, it seems like more and more little like m game modding communities are starting to get off the ground a little bit. So for regarding the Spyro fandom, which I think is pretty big across the Internet. So I'm excited for it. I'm hyped. I hope you guys are, too. And uh, yeah, Spyro 4 confirmed. I just wanted to make this video just so I could uh, say Spyro 4 confirmed in the YouTube title, because that's like all I, all I, you guys know me, all I want to do is just Spyro 4 confirmed. <laughs> that's, I live and die by the Spyro 4 confirmed. You think I'm not going to make a reaction to a Spyro 4 trailer? Come on, come on. But yeah, that's, that's it uh, for the Spyro 4 talk. I, I hope you guys are as excited for it as I am. And if you're not following Travis already, uh, give him a watch. Chuggers in the chat. Come.